So this is my absolutely favourite time of year at Sous Chef. Um, it's the time when all the panettonis come in for Christmas, direct from Italy, from some of Italy's finest producers. And every single producer puts a huge amount of care into their packaging. And so if you look at this one from Flamini, you can see these beautiful fruit on the top. Gascanaro has done a partnership with Dolce & Gabbana, and they've got these stunning tins. And inside, again, that's incredibly beautiful to get wrapped in these limited edition tins. Um, the little baby panettone as well, that's a teeny tiny one in a tin. Um, it comes just like that. Less of the wrapping inside, but it's still a super cute um, thing. And then also ones like this in these paper boxes, which combine a panettone, not just the whole panettone beautifully wrapped inside, but also with a spread. So you can get them with almond spread, um, sometimes coffee, but definitely pistachio. Pistachio is incredible. And so I think this one might even come with a knife inside where you spread the spread on the panettone directly. Um, and then our own very special brand, Panettone has been made specially for us this year, which is a Milano Panettone just for sous chef, um, which is absolutely beautiful. I was lucky enough to visit this Panettone bakery in the summer and got to see their grandmother yeast held, locked behind closed doors that you can see rising all throughout the summer, even when the rest of the factory is closed, it's still fed twice a day. Um, and only three people are allowed in that very special room. And so that's guarded. And as I come to it in a minute, that's where panettonis get a lot of their flavour and also their texture. Let me tell you a little bit about panettone flavours. So the classic, of course, um, from Northern Italy, Milan, the original home of panettone, is candied fruit and raisins. And that's the most popular panettone in Italy. Many of the other flavours of panettone are created a little bit for the Italian market, but actually much, much, much more um, for international consumers of panettone, because we all like completely different flavours and to be a little bit more experimental. So some of the options, this is of course the classic Milano panettone, but then we've got um, apricot, um, which is a beautiful flavour because apricots become a cook, they become slightly more bitter and even more aromatic. Um, so that's a really nice flavour. We've got ones with um, dried fruit as well, and um, they have special kind of crunchy sugar on the top, little crunchy sugar pieces called glossato. And so a couple of these ones from the Firmini have that slightly different topping, which can also include nuts. This one's with, um, I think this one's pear. No, fig, this is the fig one. What's this one? This is probably pear, yeah, pear and chocolate. Um, there's also amaranth cherry and chocolate. And then some of the slightly edgier flavors. Let me just move this around. This is another classic from Loison. Um, but if you ever want your cocktail and your panettone, this is the Flamini Spritz. I thought it sounded like a terrible idea, but I love Aperol and I love Pantone. And actually they've combined it to make something that's really very good indeed. And you've got chocolate around the outside and these um, big, I don't know, kind of pockets of delicious cream. And that slight bitterness becomes very Italian with the, and it's contrast beautifully with the sweet chocolate. So I'd recommend that, even though maybe it sounds a little bit nuts, but the box is beautiful as well. Um, and then, of course, I mean, it's not an Italian classic, but it does combine two Italian classics, which is cappuccino and panettone. So I've moved my panettone around a little bit to create this incredible castle and walls of panettone, mainly so you can see, as I unwrap this one, um, what makes a truly great panettone. And there are five things you should look out for. So this is really well tied. naughty and tear through the wrapping because I want to get into it quickly. But of course you can save this paper and use it for any other Christmas present. So there are five different ways you can see if a pantone is going to be good quality. One is where it's made and if it's made in Italy. The second is when you pick it up and it has this wonderful weight. You can really feel there's a lot of high quality ingredients inside. The next one, number three, is if you lift it up, even just the moment you open the packet, and sometimes even before you open it, you can really get that incredible citrus aroma. The next one, and I'm gonna cut this panettone open, but if you cut this panettone open, then you can see citrus fruit just sort of falls out of it. Both you've got these beautiful plump raisins, um, and also these incredibly big pieces, and I'm just going to pick out a few 
which don't do for your friends because they get a bit cross. But you can see quite how big these pieces of citrus fruit are. They're the size of a fingernail, um, the whole of the top of my finger. Um, and we've got those from lemon um, and also orange embedded into the panettone. And they're beautifully soft. And so then another way you can see the panettone is good. So you can just see as you pull it apart, you get these lovely, lovely tears in the panettone. Um, it's almost like a brioche. You lift it up, taste it. That's delicious. So just as I thought the filming finished, I carried on diving straight into it. And the incredible thing with this particular panettone is they tumble raisins um, with rum, as that makes them incredibly juicy when they're baked into the cake. So I just can't stop eating it. And everyone else in the room has come around and dived straight in to grab a piece, even though I've been tearing away at it.